All right. So that is everything in this uh, Elden Mountain region. Baron Tower Shrine Map. Looks like that's way down here. Just kind of this bottom area. So we've got one here on this island, actually. Ugh. But first, number one and three seem to be like up here. Let's remove the pin we've put here. I wish the pins just went away automatically. I think if you go exactly to the spot they do, but one and three are like here. Oh, and there's a village I've apparently missed, like here. All right. Unfortunately, I have nowhere near here the shortcut. So maybe I should try and get some of the other shrines that I've missed. Looks like there's one here ish. Another one like here ish. So we'll go with those first. Blue. Nope. Link. Just climb. Not climb, but run. Because unfortunately, I think this is about. Oh, I was thinking I was... I don't know where I thought I was. I'm nowhere near here. Uh, maybe I was looking at that and thinking that's where I was. Okay. Well, let's go to this tower then. Because running that whole way would be madness. Sixty-four shrines. Nice. All right, so blue is where I'm wanting to go. Yes, yes. This way. And at some point I should probably stop in a village so that I can pray and spend my spirit orbs. Not critical, but would be nice. These guys are annoying. The ones that use bows. Alright, I need a faster weapon. Which I guess... It'll have to be that. Most of the rest of my weapons are two-handed. Ice arrow works too. Ice arrow works for what? I don't know the context that you're talking about in this case. Oh, dude. Okay. They're all gone. Got a couple of arrows. Always nice. And it's raining again. My favorite. Uh, the shrine will involve... Oh, this shrine will involve doing some murder? That's fine, probably. Oh, 
Are you looking up which shrines I'm going to so you know what I'm going to be dealing with? Whoa. No, I was trying to block. Whatever. Trying to figure out how to parry. But I'm going to just use all of these. Nope. Oh, I can't parry. I don't have a shield. What am I doing? I'm just being dumb. Uh, yes. And so if you go to the wrong direction, I can tell you. Okay. I don't need a tree branch. Interesting. So it looked on the map like it was around here. But I'm not getting a shrine indicator. So I'm wondering if it's some sort of trial shrine. Like we have to... A quest, rather. Yeah, I definitely need to get that orb from him. And then bring it somewhere. And I don't know where that somewhere would be. Let's see if I can sneak attack him to get a bit of extra damage. Also, I wish I had more arrows because fighting these guys is easiest. Okay, it didn't give me a prompt to sneak attack him. Can I just like cut the string off of him? No. I can stasis it. Or him. Oh, he's just woken up. Oh dear. That hurt. Actually, not that bad. And if I put on good armor... Yeah, he's doing basically no damage to me. Like a quarter of a heart per hit. Yeah, this guy's a piece of cake. I'll just keep taking the hits because they just don't matter. There we go. Take that. A lot of this stuff is just gross. I don't know why I need a bunch of toenails. And you, where do you go? <laughs> like, that's the next question. I've got the orb that I need to place somewhere, but I don't know where I need to place it. <laughs> well, this looks like a bit of a path. Maybe it's around here. Oh, that looks glowy. And glow is usually good. That's one nice thing about the color scheme of this game is the orange glow stands out. Oh no. I need three orbs. That's unhappy. The ancient orbs guarded by the giants of Tar Mount Taran lead to the shrine. Huh. 
Huh. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. So that means there are two more giant brothers that I need to murder. I got that one. I don't see a giant on that one, but it could just... Oh, there it is. It just popped in. I'm going to assume you're equally weak. Oh, you did some actual damage. That's less friendly. Because I could shoot him in the eye like I did with the other one. Um... Alright, let's eat some food. Um, how about these ones that I never use? I don't need the cold resistance, but whatever. So this one's a lot tougher than the other one I just fought. I'm trying to jump out of the way and it's just not working. Oh dear. Okay. Another one down. Roasted carp. Roasted porgy. Roasted hearty bass. Hinox guts. Teeth, yum. Dragon Bone Boko Spear or Club? Spear, I guess. Although Club would allow me to pull out my shield. But whatever. Let's take you back up this way. And I just have to find the third giant. I hope he's easier like the first rather than the second. But either way, not terribly challenging so far from any of them. Nope, go in the hole. I see that way over there. Okay. Then the last one, maybe it's in this direction. Assuming the shrines are sort of aligned with specific ones to go kill. Come on. I don't want to deal with you. Yep, there he is. He just popped into existence. Oh dear. No. I don't want you using lightning while I'm in water. Not okay. damage I already do. Oh, this one's oldest, so probably hits hardest. Ah. 
Oh, come on. Yeah, he's doing some good damage. Oh, there's a chest underneath him, though. That's cool. Hey, someone shocked him. Thanks for that, whoever did it. Alright. Let's eat a bit more food. No, I don't need the one that gives me plus 18 or plus 17 extra hearts. Because that's crazy talk. Are you the one shooting the shock arrows? You are. If you would want to shoot him in the back, I'd be grateful. You missed him. Try again. You missed him again. Okay. He's not getting shocked. Oh, I don't have a weapon anymore. Did I break it? Apparently. Why do I have a tree branch? <laughs> oh, nice. Ow, less nice. Oh, probably got it shocked out of my hand. There we go. You, leave me alone. Okay, you're gone. What of this do I, I care about? There. Take all of that. Go back here to do more looting. Um, Knights Albert, I'll take. Okay. And let's grab this. What are you? Gold rupees. Always good. Okay. Now we take this back up there as well. Bit of a lengthy, tedious thing, but not too challenging. Uh, do I have a hammer? I do. Do some mining while I'm here. Topaz? Cool. And I wish you could sprint while holding stuff, but you just instantly drop it. But this will be the last one we need, which should open up the shrine. Nope, go in. There. Okay. The three giant brothers. Uh, oh, read the tablet? Yeah, no. I'd have read the tablet. 
Oh, we'll see you, Jorenda. Thanks for being here. Looks like another freebie shrine at this point. Good. You've already proven your worth. Great Thunderblade. Inventory's full. Well, let's definitely drop this stick I'm carrying. And receive the blessing. We're up to 13. All right, next on the list. Yes, we could go down here to green. Because that's got a village there as well as the shrine, which could be cool. Ooh, is that a chest I haven't opened? We'll deal with that. Hopefully not get overly swarmed and killed. Okay, I don't think they're following. Good. We safely evaded them. Come on, Link. Let's grab that. And open. Ice arrows, nice. Don't use them nearly often enough. But it's always good to have. It's kind of like consumables, where I struggle to use consumables in games. It's like, well, what if I need that later? And then later never comes. And I just hoard consumables for the entire game. All right. I think that might be the village down there. And there's our shrine. Yavrin Shrine. I'm not really sure why I want to max out stamina because rarely am I running into issues where stamina is the problem but I always need more health so maybe it would make more sense to just keep boosting my health but I guess it's the idea of knowing that there's a limit to how much stamina I can get I want to hit it versus you can have infinite hearts to you who sets foot in this shrine I'm Yavrin in the name of the goddess highly I offer this trial A weighty decision. Okay. Just making sure there isn't any secrets in here. This one, I think, seems easy enough. Uh, let's pull out a better weapon. I guess you will do. <laughs> that didn't last long. Um, I could actually use these guardian weapons. 
because from what I understand, Guardians and Ancient Technology take extra damage from Ancient Weapons. Hard to say if that necessarily did do more damage. Okay, so let's grab the box. Which I might need to jump this fence. Yeah. Royal Broadsword. My inventory is full. Probably have some garbage weapons. Uh... Knight's Halberd or the... I'll get rid of you. Because the durability of that's got to be terrible. But the Royal Broadsword is pretty good. So let's pick you up and put you on this side. So that I can get back out. There we go. Uh, and then we lift you over to here. For that button. It's an interesting idea to keep us carrying this block along pretty much the whole time. Arguably, I might want to grab that chest too. Actually, in case I need the chest as another weight, I will grab it now. Okay, so now I can come back for it. So what are we doing here? Um... I set that down there. Then I should be able to get up here. And then drop that there to get here. Oh no, no, Link. Why? Oh well, shouldn't matter. Can probably get back there from here. Yes. Then we put this up there. And we get this chest. Perfect. Opal. Not super important, but oh well. And then we're trying to actually get to that other side. Which means from here, jump up to there. Move you back again this way. Ta-da! So I didn't need to go back for that chest, but that's fine. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, there's supposed to be a village down here. So let's see if anyone here has a quest for me. Or if there even are people here. Anyone up on the lookout tower? Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thank you, Daruk. Nope. 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 
No one up here. Okay, well there was a fisherman on this dock. Oh, and a guard patrolling. Hey, sir. Haven't seen you around. You sightseeing? Sightseeing? Huh? You haven't heard? There's a special place where they say you can find your true love. Folks come from all over the to visit, hoping for love. It's Lover's Pond on Tuft Mountain. Why don't you go check it out, mister? Sure. Lover's Pond on Tuft Mountain. That'll be here, which is probably a shrine. It is not a shrine. Interesting. Well, then, I'll still want to check it out. Nice winds today. Are you a traveler? Welcome to Lorelin Village. I'm Rozel. The he I'm the head of this village. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have about local things. About the village. <laughs> Lorelin Village is a fishing village. When I was y younger, I used to be a fisherman myself. The fish here are fresh and delicious. You should try some at least once. Anything else you'd like to know? What about Eventide Island? Mm. A large island in the sea to the east of the village. It's called Eventide Island. There are some legends about that island, so the village fishermen tend to avoid it whenever, whenever possible. When you're on the island, you start hearing voices. I don't know if it's real or just a dream, though. Anything else you'd like to know? Ruins? If you walk east of the village and come and keep going for a bit, you'll end up at Palmeray Beach. There are some old ruins there. One of the youths from the village, Garini, goes there often to poke around. If you're interested, you should go see them. Greenies should be able to tell you a lot more about them. Anything else you'd like to know? No, that's it. Alright, if you think of anything else to ask, come back and talk to me. Well, I want to check out this Tuft Island to meet my true love. All these buildings have no one in them. Oh, hey people. Ooh, couple of quests. Hum hum. You a traveler? I'm a fisherman in, of the village, but we're a bit uh, in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull a good haul from Eris Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough though. Think you could go take care of them? Consider it done. Good stuff. Remember, it's called Air Speech. The monsters have set up shop there. Stay sharp. Was that... I assume they all had the same quest? Hi. Are you a traveler? Good timing. Why don't you join us for dinner? We're having salt grilled fish. The fish here are delish. That must be your house. this uh, shop, maybe? No. Place your bets. I'm probably not going to do any betting. Psst, come here. No, closer. How do you like to be rich without having to work for it? That sounds really nice. <laughs> hey, hey, simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? What do you say to a w little wager on them? The idea is you pick any chest you want to open. It's simple, right? The best part is, whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go opening any boxes, you'll have to show me what it's worth to you. What's a bet after all if you don't stand to lose a bundle on it? That's the part that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in. But the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash, right? Here, right now, am I right? What do you say? All you've got to lose is your pride and your money. I don't think so. Psh, Lady Luck has no time for a man who won't take any chances. Well, suit yourself, but if you ever feel like trying your luck, I'm always here. I wonder if you can save scum this. Like, save, bet, open one of the chests. If it's not it, open one of the other chests, etc. possible, but it's also possible we might bake in to the save whether you're going to succeed or not. 
You don't have a quest. What about you down here? Oh, you're the shop. Neat shop. Um, Could always use more arrows. Yeah. That's where all of my money goes. How many would you like? I'll take them all. All of them? That'll be 60 rupees. I think. Agreed? Yes. Okay. Mubs. Hi. Hey, welcome. You here to buy something for dinner? Fresh fish? Just recently caught. Take a look. Oh. Come again? I'll be waiting. Is there anything in the water? There is. It's always good to check for secrets in the water. What do we got here? Fire arrows. And then there was something over here. Let's see if I can get to it better from over here. Oh, it is a chest. It just looked odd from that other angle. Amber. Um, there's another one over here. That's way too far out. Maybe from that beach I'd be able to get it. Same with that. What is this? Rusty shield. Oh good. What I've always wanted. Alright. So, we got a quest to fight monsters on the beach. Where's that at? That's actually way over here. Um, kind of want to figure out what's going on with this. Because a few people have mentioned this lover's pond. Oh, that's got to be this, the heart-shaped pond. So I'm curious. It's a little out of the way, but not bad. If I want to get there, what's the fastest way from here? To go all the way around? Ugh. Maybe when I'm over here, I can check out that air speech. I'm wondering... Probably faster to teleport here and then just head up there. Eh. Maybe. Certainly if I pick up a horse. 